we think of ourselves as subjects over against objects. Subjects are these self-sufficient beings and objects are these things that they dominate and control and as the story goes objectify this idea of being a self-contained subject is a Descartes invention and that name is a Descartes invention it is not the spoon that bends it is only yourself so he invents modernity and he invents it takes Kant to come along and finish it Kant was taken by the question of well you know how can we know what things are in and of themselves is appearance any reasonable reflection of reality? And uh, Kant is famous for concluding that um, there's really very little we know about what reality is like in and of itself. And his point was that actually the mind has structures that impose structure on the world and actually create worlds in certain ways. So that we're not perceiving a pre-given world, but the structures of the mind are bringing forth phenomena created as much by the mind as by whatever it is that, that's out there. When you sit at a table and you touch the table and you see the table, you have these phenomena, you have these conscious experiences of color, of shape, of tactile pressure. But these phenomena are not the ultimate causes. Kant was convinced that there was something beyond that, which is reasonable because we don't control our phenomena. If I look up at the sky, I can't change it from blue to pink. There's something out there which is generating these sense perceptions, these phenomena, and giving them to us. A simple way to summarize Kant is that he maintained that the world was the product of a matrix, that the structures of the mind bring forth the world. I thought it wasn't real. Your mind makes it real. 